Hi students, this is Professor Schimmel and Renee, and we're going to show you today how to do a, a how to make a negative stain. We do negative staining to detect the presence or the absence of capsules on bacteria. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start with a nicely scrubbed down microscope slide. Use a pipette to put a couple of drops of water at one end of the slide. Then we will aseptically remove a little bit of the organism from the slant that Renee prepared and that organism will get mixed into the drop of water. Now we're not going to spread it out at this point. We're just going to mix the organism into the drop of water. All right, after we do that, we're going to add one drop of India ink to the water and organism mixture. Now, please take care not to touch the tip of the bottle to the water or you're going to contaminate the entire bottle of India ink. All right, once we've done that, we're going to pick up a second microscope slide and we're going to use it to drag that material across the entire surface of the slide. All right, now once you've done that, you've got live microorganism on the end of that slide. So what you're going to do is you're going to give it a rinse with alcohol and, um, and then wash it and you can use it from there. Uh, we don't happen to have any alcohol with us, so we're just going to set it down in the sink for now. Okay, now we're going to let this slide air dry thoroughly we will not heat fix and we won't put the slide on the, the slide drying rack either because it's just going to get too warm. If we do that or if we heat fix the slide, even if there are uh, capsules present, they're going to just shrivel up from the heat. So we're going to let that negative stain air dry completely. Then we are going to take the slide and we're going to put it on a staining rack over the sink. and we're going to cover it with safranin. We'll leave the safranin on for a minute. Then we'll pick the slides up one at a time, give them a quick rinse. You can use your, um, uh, your clothes pin for that or just do it by hand like Renee is doing. Give the slides a quick rinse blot them dry with your bibulous paper and you're ready to view. And I will add some photos of what capsule slides look like at the end of this video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.